Hey everybody, it's Susan Lynn, Psychic Medium, and I don't know if you're aware, but I do channeled messages. Because I'm a medium, I can speak to energies and spirits anywhere. And energy is energy, right? So it doesn't matter if it's a ghost in the next room or if it's an, an ascended being from Orion or an ascended, a group of ascended beings, whatever it is, that energy is available for me to communicate with. So I've been channeling the Orion Collective for about a year. And recently they asked me to start publicizing their channeled messages. However, what I want to say today is that I sitting at my computer doing something completely different. I just sense the energy change completely. The energy literally, it's like, I, I wish I could describe it. It's, it's as if it's akin to the temperature dropping 20 degrees right before a storm or right after a storm, you know, and just everything has changed, right? The, um, the, the air feels different. The temperature of the air is different, but also the, um, Literally, you can almost feel like the ions have changed in the actual air, right? So that's what happened today. We had a very big change in energy, just a shift, a really big shift. So I, it was so strong to me that I, I had to stop what I was doing and figure out what was going on. You know, I, I, I wanted to know. Plus, it was a little bit unsettling. The energy shift was not like, woohoo, happy energy. It was a little bit unsettling. Big changes coming. So I asked the guides to tell me what was going on. And instead of me channeling this message right here, I'm going to read to you the channel message that they gave me, which I also put on social media. It's on my Instagram account, and it's also on my Facebook account. So you can find the those chan channeled messages there as well. But let me read to you because it's really important. And I have to also preface this by saying that I am not a believer of QAnon. It's not that I don't think crazy things are happening. I just do not believe in QAnon. This has nothing to do with QAnon. I'm not a believer of QAnon. I'm not a supporter. So I, you're, you're on the wrong channel if that is your, if that is something that you believe in. Um, this is about politics. This is about the election in the United States. So let me tell you what they had to say about our political scene and the election and the upcoming changes. Okay, so here's what um, I wrote. Just about an hour ago, a new energy rolled in. It's an energy of change, the kind of change you have no choice about. The word Dharma came to me when I thought about how to describe this energy. This is a word I'm familiar with, but not sure, exactly sure, of the meaning. So I looked it up. As I often, or they often use words that I'm not familiar with, I need to look up the definition to make sure I completely understand it and I don't just have some kind of winged, you know, idea of it. So the definition of Dharma, according to the Hindus, is the eternal and inherent nature of reality regarded in Hinduism as the comic law underlying right behavior and social order. So I'm not sure what was going to happen, but I feel that it is big. Like a karmic feeling, a karmic leveling. When I ask how does this affect humans, this was the channel message that I received. Humans are experiencing a higher frequency energy currently. Some will think this energy is due to the changing of the seasons. And in some ways, this is true. The season of fall is about to change, death and subsequent rebirth. However, this is happening on an energetic level as well. There is a quickening of energy and a collecting of karmic debts. Humans have gotten rather inhumane. And this energy will push you hard to get you through this time of clashing morality. The energy is preparation for the event. Your experience of time on the timeline will move faster as you near the election. Everything is as it will be and based on the accumulative action of humans for the last decades. We wish to propel you through this time frame 
at greater speed. Humans are not ready and will be caught off guard by coming events. This will not be advantageous to humankind. By speeding up the energy and timeline, humans will be propelled with great force towards the change, and it is our hope that we will break through to the other side and experience peace and love. Breaking through the event will be a seminal point in your history. We do not wish to predict exact actions, but we will say that the collective energy is one that will produce violence amongst your population. It is through the lens of the wide-eyed, innocent viewer that the needed awakening and acceptance of the violence against your own people will be rectified. It is our wish that by quickening your timeline that you will wake from your slumber and see with clear eyes the carnage that lay about you in time to effectively denounce and remove those that would commit violence against their own people. Humans and respectfully Americans should no longer permit these conditions to exist. There is currently a golden opportunity to act quickly to ride this energy to this excuse me to ride this energy of change to do good for your fellow humans. We have done what we can to assist you with love, the beings. That is really intense and the energy is intense. It makes me want to jump out of my skin. It is so fraught with tension. Um, it's just really, really intense right now. So that's their message to us at this time during the 2020 United States election. I'm sure they're going to have more to say about this. They have been pushing me to communicate to you guys their messages. And so I'm trying to bring them through as I get them. I simply didn't know this was going to be a complete channeled message or else I would have videoed it as it happened. But a lot of times when I'm writing, when I'm typing, they will actually take over and I understand that it's no longer my words because it's in third person. So I understand that this is a channeled message and the best thing for me to do is just to continue typing until the message is done. So I hope this was illuminating. I hope that you find it helpful in some way. I hope that we're all safe, but at the same time, I understand that we need to not allow whatever groups want to, you know, do violence against us. We need to somehow stand up against that. They feel like we're in a slumber. They feel like we're asleep. They feel like we're lulled into this, you know, passiveness. They don't want us to go out and riot. They don't want us to go out and be violent. That is not at all the message here. They do not agree with violence. The message is they don't agree with violence. However, they want us to do what we can to expose those people who would do violence against us and expose them and, and remove them is what they said. So, I, I can only take that to mean to work within the channels of our laws and our society to hold people accountable. You know, I, I think certainly peaceful protest is, is perfectly fine. However, I will tell you that it's, it's that violence is, is going to happen. I, I really need to do a whole nother video on this, but violence is going to happen. I, they showed me pictures of burning cities. It, you can't get any more, in my opinion, any more apocalyptic than that. For me to, to see this picture of a city on fire, that is not at all what they're suggesting here. However, there's going to be provocateurs, saboteurs that are going to come in and are going to do this violence and and kind of pin it and blame it on other groups, which is going to cause the police to come in and it's just going to be, it's going to be, um, it, it's not going to be good. It's not going to be good for us. 
So I think knowledge is power. And I think if you know these things in advance, you can make better decisions. You know, you can hold your city council, your mayor, your governor, your senator, and your representative, you can hold them accountable in different ways and avoid anything that looks like it might become violent. And and I have to tell you that the way this is going to go down is, is that it's going to look like a peaceful pro- protest. It's going to be a peaceful protest, but these provocateurs are going to come in and, and create havoc and violence in those peaceful protests. So please be careful. Please be careful. Please be careful bringing your children. Please. So, you know, if that means going before your mayor at a city council meeting or going or emailing your mayor or or staging a sit-in inside a mayor's office or someplace safe, then then maybe that's safer. I understand they want us to pro they want us to stand up. I mean, protest is a loaded word these days, but they, they want us to not allow these things to happen. We just have to be very careful about how we safeguard ourselves and safeguard our children. Definitely video everything. Strap a GoPro to you. Video everything all the time. Even if it's a peaceful protest, video it. Have it go to Facebook so where if something happens to your camera, it's still preserved. With that, I'm going to leave you for today. I, I pray for us, pray for our country, ask for white light protection to be surrounding our leaders, our citizens. Pray that we come together as a nation. Pray that all of us are able to find some kind of common ground and that we do not descend into violence. Thank you.